Hi, my name is Leon Spetrizikis. I'm on the DB2 team at the IBM Toronto Lab. This video will go through how you can create a DB2 instance in the IBM Developer Cloud, and then it will go through the ways you can connect to your new DB2 Cloud instance. Let's go ahead and create an instance. Go to your IBM Developer Cloud control panel and click on the Add Instance button in the top right corner. Now you can scroll down to one of the DB2 instances, such as DB2 Express C or DB2 Enterprise. Let's create an Express C instance this time. And enter an instance name, such as my instance name, and an administrator password for the three Linux and DB2 users on your instance. Click Next, and um, once uh, everything is entered, you can verify what you entered on this screen. And on the next screen, you can accept the license agreement for the cloud. Over the next few minutes, the instance will be created, provisioned, and then boot. So this is a three-step process, and if this skips us, you now have a copy of DB2 running in the cloud. Let's take a look at your instance. One way is to connect to the command line on your virtual cloud machine using SSH. On Windows, you can use a client such as Squatty, and on Linux, you can use the SSH command directly. Let's copy the host name of your newly created instance. Since I'm working on Windows, I will bring a party. So in party, I want to connect to the db2 inst1 user at that host name. Let's paste it in. Documenta. We can log in as uh, using the password we entered during uh, instance creation. And now we can open up db2. There's a copy of the standard sample database already on the instance. Let's select from one of the usual tables. Voila! Since the query worked, your copy of DB2 in the cloud is working well. We can also connect to your cloud DB2 instance using a local copy of DB2. On Windows, let's open up the DB2 command window. On Linux, you should log in as a DB2 instance owner, usually DB2 inst1. I'm on Windows, so I'm going to bring up the DB2 command window. Let's run the local copy of DB2 prompt. The exact syntax for the next few commands is in the getting started docs for instances. We'll catalog the remote DB2 instance using the TCP IP protocol, meaning the internet. And we're going to connect to the exact host name. And the port we want is 50001. We'll then catalog the sample database on the remote instance as mydb. You'll then be able to access it just as you would access uh, any local database. We can now connect to it as a DB2 inst1 user. And um, the password is what you entered while, while creating this cloud instance. And let's select from the standard tables, which is act. Your remote DB2 instance is ready for use. Now that you have added the cloud instance of db2 to your local db2 catalog, you can use any db2 tool with it. Let's open up the db2 control center. The newly cataloged node and database should be there. If it's already open, you may need to right-click and refresh. Okay. So let's right-click on my db and open up the query tool. As before, the user is db2 inst1, and the password is what you entered during instance creation. We can query one of the tables in MyDB, such as ACT. The query returns, and your cloud DB2 instance is ready for use. You can check out the IBM Developer Cloud at the URL given, and you can also contact us at db2cloud at ca.ibm.com. As always, any questions and comments are welcome in the associated forum.